Hello everyone, this video is about the SFC programming function in uh, Mitsubishi Melsoft GX3 using an FX5U and also the, F the SFC is called sequential function chart. Hello and welcome back, this is Gerd Zeller from Zeller Press Control Systems and off we go. Okay, first of all, I will explain to you what is a sequential function chart doing and what it's for. A sequential function chart works like a step-by-step -step executed program where actually you have um, steps which you can see right here and every step is forwarded by the satisfaction of a transition which you can see right here and then it will start the next step and so on so step by step and using a transition where we check that a step is satisfied so in this example here you will see um, the sequent the, the SFC program is already active right now and in order to start it, um, or in order to set the first step, I'm just going to start the sequence. And then we will see it switches over to the next step. The next active step is step number one, which is the red light on. And now it is actually waiting to satisfy the next, trans the next transition, which is following to the step. So I created a button right here, which um, satisfies the condition if I just push that it switches over to the next one and also to the next step and also you will see the previous step is switched off so it's actually zero the light goes off and we have the next light on here with, with, with the according step so if I satisfy the step number two with the yellow light it will switch over to the step number three, step number two is switched off and so on. And if I satisfy the green one, it will automatically switch over, jump the step number zero because it's green. And if I switch this off, it will start actually at um, step zero. You can also see this right now. The start sequence is off, so we are at step zero, waiting for the start. And we push through and so on. So also we can choose another line where we can actually jump to uh, predefined steps, which I can um, do right here. So if I switch this line on, we will jump over to the green light if the red light is satisfied. So I'm going to do this right now. So you can see we skip the yellow light right here and we go over right to the green light. So this is basically how you look at it from the visualization. And let's make this a little bit smaller. All right. And actually in the GX3, in the GX Work 3 program, it looks like this. And we can also see the individual steps. So if I if I satisfy the step number one, you will see the step the step number one, number two turn on, and so on. Yeah? Same thing. So here you see step number three is active, and also step number three is active here. And if the next transition turns on, you can see this line, and this line leads you over to the initial step right here, which is going to turn on and then we will activate the sequence again and now we are waiting for the transition zero which you can see also right here switch this on the red light turns on and so on 
and how this is done I will explain to you later on. Um, first of all I will have to delete this program right here and then I will lead you step by step through. So I will be back as soon as I deleted the program and then I will guide you through step by step. Okay, so here I am back um, and first step is to create an SFC chart which you do just like you create every other function in the um, navigation window right here. Um, you just click, uh, you just make a right click, go to add new data, give it a name, SFC tutorial, whatever name you please to do. And then here on the program, on the program language you need to select SFC and then push OK and it will be creating a SFC chart which looks like this. If you do this the first time you might be asked by the system to um, change the parameter on the on the FX5U which is I think it should be anywhere here SFC setting right exactly so you go to the CPU parameter go to SFC settings and here you will have to check the use I think when I did it the first time it was on use but you have to switch it off and switch it on again so in order that it's active all right so that's so far for the parameter setup and now you got the initial setup right here so this is your initial step that will always be active if your program is active and um, you don't need in in my case I did not put an action in here because of I have the start button so I'm going to delete this and the next step will be that we have to put in a further um, step so this you can uh, just go to the transition right here in in this uh, section here and select insert a step that will automatically insert a step with a transition okay so if you remember right we have the the start sequence so we have the m400 in here so on the transition zero we will put in you can also you can give this a name so you can say start sequence I do this with an underscore you can select you can choose the language and then say okay and then it opens this window right here uh, what I'm gonna do is I hold the mouse on this selection here and just drag it over to the window so this makes it better visible so we can actually see the flowchart right here and um, the open window so here we go to the put on the M400 for to switch over to the next step and then there is a there is an instruction that's only in the SF in the SFC chart that says tran so for this is for the transition so click OK and if this trans if, if the M400 is true now we will switch over to the uh, step 0 and in the step 0 I will have um, the first light which is the red one and the red light is the M410 okay so the M410 so we'll go over to this action right here and we can also give it a name and I say uh, red light also in letter 
and then we just put in the SM400 which you just need because you can not only put an output on the end of the rung and here we say what did I say M410 all right oh that needs to be a coil sorry okay so this is how you do the first step and in order to continue this I will have to put in two more steps and then once I've done that I will be right back okay here we are so once all the steps are completed we do a rebuild and if everything goes right on the output there is no error so the next step we just um, switch on the simulator mode and also switch on the simulator mode in the HMI open the right window and as you can see hmm, switch on also um, okay there we go all right now you can see step zero is active this is that, that step right here and if I start the sequence and I made the programming right the red light should turn on there you go and the step one is active or actually step zero which is called S1 is active and if I satisfy that with the M401 it will switch over to the yellow light and after that yellow light is satisfied it will switch over to the green light and when the green light is satisfied we go to the end to the end step right here and then it will start over again on the step zero because the start sequence is green and if I switch this off it will stop at the step zero all right there we go also if you now open the window from the transition which you can just make a double click on here and before I told you to um, move this over so it's permanently displayed then you can actually see the status on the transition so let's say if I push that button here you can see the actual status on the transition and then you can also see that we uh, switched one step forward now you can see this end step right here and to get a better understanding we will make a jump in the end step and say that we jump over to the initial step which we can uh, sorry I was a little bit too fast on the end step we make a right click and then we go to edit and select this uh, item right here and then we can select on this window here we can select where we want to actually jump so we want to jump over to the initial step and now you will see we have a line going back to the initial step I'll make it just a little smaller so you should be able to see it now okay so that's it and uh, we can then delete this last transition here and then you will see it will just go back to the initial step and if we check this program again I, yes I need to rebuild it first and then start the simulation and you can also start the simulation on this on this button right here and we also start the simulation in the HMI
and then we will have the same result. Start the sequence. We go to the next step. We push the steps through by, fin by satisfying all the transition and then we jump over to the step zero because the start sequence step is open. All right, so that's it for the um, sequential flowchart. There will be some other videos about how to make a parallel run and there is some other selections that I will explain on a following video. So that's it for the SFC programming for an FX5U CPU in the Mitsubishi Meltsoft. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.